Have you ever messaged a girl online at your level? Let's say for example you are a 5 and she's a 5 but you got no replies from her or you got left on scene or you watched a dating coach online and told you to approach a girl your level on a club or in the streets only for you to get a cold hard rejection again and you start to ask yourself the question why do I keep getting rejected even though I go for women who are around my level or sometimes even below my level? Well that's gonna be today's discussion on why women's standards got out of proportion and why the average woman believed themselves to be an 8 or a 9. Keep in mind that this video is not made to hate on women or anything of the sort. In fact I will show you how this harms women in the long run as well. I will state the reasons why I believe this problem is happening and I will dive into each one dissecting it. Social circles and social media, simps and ego inflation, social programming and feminism. And if you want to get your face evaluated by me with personalized look max and advice, link will be down in the description. Without further ado, let's get this video started. Multiple people that I work with ask me, why did my father who was average or slightly above average manage to date my mother who was more attractive than him above his level and not only that she married him and committed to him? And the answer to that is quite simple. Dating back in the 80s, 70s, 90s and even the early 2000s was reasonable and easier than this mess we have today. Women's social circles were limited. Let's say for example your dad is above average in attractiveness. A6, 5 foot 10, well built lean body with a good shoulder to waist ratio. And he dedicated himself to get a nice income, nice car and a nice house. In the small social circle of the town he lives he will have a lot of dating options of women. Around his level and slightly above his level. Cause the competition in that small social circle is not fierce. And most of the men will be around average or slightly above average. It's not like the modern times of today where women are exposed to a model caliber man on Instagram every 5 seconds. The expectations were realistic and hookup culture were not as prevalent. Marriage still meant something, women back then wanted to get settled down more than the current modern women so competition was not as fierce and they had realistic expectations when it comes to dating. And the average dude was not doomed. I would like to introduce you to social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, you know what I'm talking about. What did this do is expand that social circle and the options that were limited to a town or city where she lived became the entire planet. With this I'm gonna transition to the next segment of the video. This era is what I like to call the fall of the average man. Now the average 5 out of 10 women get hit on by men from all over the globe. Unlimited exposure through Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. With just some makeup and revealing outfits that's all it takes for them to get hundreds of likes and DMs and for them to get showers and gifts and whatnot. So simps they think that if I call this average woman gorgeous, shower her with praise and make her believe she is a 9 or a 10, maybe just maybe she will give me a chance or reply back to me. Or maybe if I send her money or gifts I will get her attention. You poor poor excuse of a human being. Little do you know that you are at a queue of a very long list. You are one of the hundreds of guys doing the same thing. I ask my girlfriend to send me the message requests she have on Facebook alone of guys shooting their shot. More than 200 message requests and more being left on scene. This is Facebook alone, imagine what Instagram would be like. A total sausage fest. Simping does not come from average guys toward average girls alone. It also comes from fairly attractive men toward average girls. So I want you to put yourself in the shoes of the average woman. You get showered with praise and men willing to give money away to you just for existing. You get told that you are an 8 or a 9 a lot. This will result in her starting to believe that she also belongs to the highly attractive women's club. This is just from using social media alone. I didn't even mention dating sites like Tinder and Bumble yet. You know the famous dating apps. An average woman can install Tinder and get at least 70 to 100 matches a day of men of varying degrees of attractiveness. So the modern woman unlike the desperate modern man is never truly alone. They are never truly alone unless they suffer from some sort of mental illness or something else. Then that's a special case and I hope the best for everyone. But the trick here is that highly attractive men will sleep with the average woman but this will not mean they will commit to them. This is where most women get tricked. Highly attractive men will have options of average and attractive women and they will sleep with both. But those men when they want to commit they will commit to women their level. And by level I mean level of attractiveness. Let me give the ladies a little secret. Men do not care about how much money you make, your job or stuff like that. Men when they want to seriously settle down, they will look at your sexual history, how many partners you had in the past, they do this to know how much baggage you are carrying, how attractive you look, how young you are and how respectful you are. Cause no man wants a woman who challenges him every other second and disrespects him. Add to this how women blow smoke up each other all the time. Have you ever seen the comment section of an overweight woman? All you see is yes queen, you slay and other stuff like that. 
while the only thing they slay is the fridge. Okay, I'm just kidding, please don't get mad. So this fake praise hurts the well-being and health of women because she is not encouraged to be at a healthy weight. And this also creates a dissonance in between reality and what she hears on social media. Because being a highly attractive woman comes with its privileges. Those women get high paying modeling contracts, they get the most expensive of gifts and trips to private islands and stuff of the sort. So this creates a dissonance, like why am I getting the praise and none of the benefits? Something is not adding up. I want to discuss how feminism inflated the ego of women out of proportions, especially the body positivity movement. When I typed body positivity on Google to look up the definition, only the images and illustrations of women showed up. It goes to show you that this is for 99% of cases applies to only women. Men get laughed at if they are short, which is out of their control. But if, but if you laugh at a woman's weight, oh boy, you better make peace with God because you will be a goner. Body positivity at first was a movement with the goal to stop bullying people for things they can't control, like height, skin color, amputations, stuff of the sort. But once weight got merged in with this category, people stopped taking it seriously. Anyways, when we told our women it's okay to be obese and morbidly obese, and they are attractive the way they are, we encouraged them to not put in any effort into approving themselves. And they became entitled and their egos inflated even more. And if you look for any statistics online, you will find that women are more obese than men in general because we keep feeding them lies. Add to this the movies and series that pander to the female fantasy where you find the rich handsome man in his thirties falling in love with an average woman and flying her out and living happily after. Women grew up watching these scenarios and they would still watch them believing that if that girl can have it, I can have it as well. Okay, so you are watching this and you are saying all of this is not true. I'm just a sexist hater incel. How about you hate from the mouth of a woman herself? A matchmaker gave up because she was frustrated with how ridiculous women's standards got. I'm gonna show you some clips of it. The original video was deleted. So these are some screen captures that I had. Part of uh, the end of last year and the beginning of this year, I stopped matchmaking. And the reason I stopped matchmaking is because I literally was being, I, I can't handle female clients. I was a matchmaker that matched females. And I had a few male clients, but predominantly I was matching women. And listen, what I, it was such a valuable lesson for me because what I learned is that the average woman doesn't really want just a good man. She doesn't want a husband. What she's really wanting are these standards or ideas that she has of what a man is supposed to be. But this is nothing what men are. They're, this is not realistic for who men are, how they think, what they value, it's just this preconceived, you know, idea that women have of who men should be. But this is not reality, okay? So literally, the standards here... That's it for today's video. If you guys enjoy my content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And like usual, catch you guys in the next one.